what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're gonna check out roman reigns legit injured fans concerned for tony storm wwe band stardust and other wrestling news man this should be a interesting one as you guys know uh the roman reigns match definitely ended quicker than a lot of, of us expected and that's because he was legitimately injured uh he got injured during the match so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support man and uh let's get right into this bad boy man what is what's going on guys it is wrestlemia here back with some more news let's join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including roman reigns legit injured stardust is banned which brand is cody wrestling on fans worried for tony storm Conor McGregor talks trash in WWE and oh, wrestling responses and much more. Really, Be sure to Connor? subscribe and hit that notification damn, bell for bro. daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Roman Reigns legit injured. Atop in today's news is a report concerning newly crowned undisputed WWE Champion Roman Reigns was injured during his main event brawl against Brock Lesnar at night two of WrestleMania. Wrestling News' Paul Davis reported Ooh. on the match and what some are claiming was an injury to Reigns. And towards the end of the match, Reigns told Paul Heyman that something is out. It sounded like he may have been talking about his shoulder popping out of his socket, but the photos below appear to show that he may have torn a muscle. Oh, this no. may also explain why the match had a flat ending. A photos of surface showing what looks like some sort of injury, but the extent of the said injury remains unknown. Davis added, so far, there's been no word from WWE on what Reigns' prognosis is. Hopefully, it's not as serious as it looks in the photos below. After Reigns won the Undisputed Universal Championship, he struggled to hold one of the titles up, but he did manage to get the bad arm up at the end. Coincidentally, we just recently discussed the risks of the WWE placing its proverbial eggs all in one basket by Damn. unifying both the World Championships and Reigns. Be sure to check out our real reasons why Roman Reigns became the undisputed champion at WrestleMania 38 for more details. Hopefully Roman is okay and if he is hurt, it won't be an extended injury. We'll continue to following this developing story. That's going to be pretty catastrophic if he has to sit out due to injury. That means he's going to have to relinquish the titles. And once again, this is why WWE... Gotta be careful with putting everything in one basket, man. You put all your eggs in one basket. If you don't have a true backup plan in case someone get injured or someone get hurt, your top guy get injured and get hurt, there's no one else to really carry, you know, take, you know, carry on, like carry his weight of who he is and what he is in the company, status wise. You're gonna be putting yourself in a, a a precarious situation. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully it's nothing too serious, but. It definitely, he definitely was legit hurt. You can hear him visibly saying, it's out, it out, it's out, it's out in the match. I don't know. It, it From the photos, it doesn't look like a dislocated shoulder. It looked like it may have been a muscle tear. I'm not sure, but he was definitely in uh, a lot of pain, man. And kudos to Roman for finishing the match, even though they had to call an audible and end it pretty quickly. Still kudos to him, man, that it's, it's one of those things where wrestling, whether you, you know, rock with wrestling, whether you, uh, you know, care about the booking or whatever the situation is, you got to respect those that are willing to put their bodies on the line to entertain us. I always say that. I'm going to always keep reinforcing that, reinforcing that uh, narrative. They deserve respect just like any other athlete out there. Next up, lots of Cody Rhodes reports as Cody returned to the WWE at night one of WrestleMania 38, which is a talk of the wrestling world yes, as fans and wrestlers alike are wondering what's next for the American Nightmare now that he's left All Elite Wrestling for the place where his wrestling career began. Firstly, let's look at which brand Cody is wrestling on. Or where will Cody Most Rhodes perform? Wrong. Raw, SmackDown, or on both brands as a free agent? While WWE.com has listed him on his webpage, Rhodes is not listed as a performer on either the red or blue brand. However, PW Insider is reporting, going forward, Cody Rhodes will be a member of the Raw roster as a babyface, mm -hmm. PWInsider.com has confirmed. As whether a, or not this report tell. pans out, fans can expect to see Rhodes on Raw tonight as he posted a picture on Instagram showing his riveting return at WrestleMania along with this message. 
Thank you all. Let's live forever. Looking forward to having a live WWE mic in my hand for the first time wow, in over six years that's tomorrow. Be crazy. The WWE mic. Well, as of me filming this, this is right before Monday Night Raw. I'm going to be doing. Well, I probably would have already did the live streaming reaction. So if you haven't seen my live streaming reaction on Monday Night Raw, go check that out after you're done with this video. But yeah, man, it, it makes sense. He was going to be on the Raw brand. That, that, there's no denying that. He was definitely going to be on the Raw brand. Could SmackDown have could have used him? Yes, they could have. But, yep, he's definitely going to be on the Raw brand. Keep fans guessing where Cody is going to work, milking his return by featuring him both on Raw and SmackDown. Wherever he shows up, it'll be interesting to hear what Cody has to say about his absence. The WWE hasn't mentioned AEW, nor will they likely will, and Cody's WWE.com profile has this explanation for his absence. After departing from WWE to explore other opportunities, <laughs> other the American Nightmare yeah. returned at WrestleMania 38 as Seth freaking Rollins' surprise opponent, handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. Of course, they're not going to say much. They're going to say other opportunities or whatnot. They, you know, they, they try to keep the name calling to a minimum or whatnot. So, yeah, it, it makes sense they would say that on the website. Now you can be sure to check out our analysis of Raw as there should be plenty to talk about the first Raw after WrestleMania. Next up, Stardust is banned. Akari also provided some details on his conversation with Vince McMahon when they met to talk about a WWE return, including Cody's one request should he return to the company. Fans familiar with the circumstances of his WWE departure likely know what this is, but let's hear what Cody told Ariel Helwani about the meeting with Mr. McMahon. There weren't any true guarantees, there was a request. I said I never want to ever see Stardust ever again, mm. and I never want to see, hear it, or talk about it, and it was a handshake, and that was all I needed. Mm. And despite Cody's request to distance himself forever from a character he felt symbolized everything wrong about his first run in the WWE, Cody told Ariel that didn't stop him from accidentally referencing the character during his momentous match against Seth Rollins. Then the first thing I did in the match last night was a random Stardust reference. I thought, what are you doing? You're going back on your own strange request. Other than it was complex to get this all together and maybe one of wrestling's biggest contracts, which I'm so flattered about. Hopefully the WWE will honor Cody's request, including keeping other wrestlers from referencing Stardust during programs against Rhodes. Now, it wouldn't shock us to see an opponent appear in Stardust makeup, but perhaps McMahon will honor the request. I hope so, man, because uh, imagine if Cody would have came out to the Stardust gimmick. Oh my gosh. It would have been awful. The booze would have been plentiful. It just, yeah, I don't even want to think. That's that's somewhere in another alternate universe. Cody came back to WrestleMania. Well, came to, back to WWE in the Stardust uh, gimmick, as the Stardust gimmick. So, yeah. Glad that didn't happen. Thankful that didn't happen. They just need to keep Cody the way he is now. He's perfect the way he is now. Next up, fans worried for Tony Storm. As recently signed AEW star Tony Storm having personal problems, fans couldn't help but ask this after a video surfaced from an autograph signing at WrestleCon that suggested the 26-year-old was in no condition to perform wrestling's parlance for under the influence in a big, oh. big way. Storm was asked a question and was really slow to respond with some fans believing she was drunk and or high but clearly impaired. Check it out. Shit, I don't know. Oh yeah, she's out of there. Whatever she is, she she's out of there. You can tell just by the shit. I don't know. Yeah, she's out of there. Bro, she, yeah. Bro, she Rachel, looks I think that you out of there. Her style and your style would definitely be a yeah, very very she was fun watch. Really cool. Yeah, sure. Ashley Masara. Storm wow. has been doing well financially as she walked out on the WWE and signed with AEW after her non-compete clause expired. Even better, she reportedly been pulling in some major bank thanks to a highly successful OnlyFans account. Yeah, I heard about her OnlyFans. You, you sickos, man. I know y'all love y'all some Tony Storm, and when she made her OnlyFans, y'all, y'all couldn't help yourselves. Y'all, oh my god. <laughs> She probably didn't even have to go to AEW, but she loves wrestling, so I, I can respect that. But yeah, she definitely was lit. That she was out of there. Count. 
Hopefully this isn't a case of more money, more problems, and Tony was doing what many 20-somethings do, as well as other age groups, yeah. having an occasional overindulgence. A little bit. Still, sometimes you got to be a little bit professional mm -hmm. if you're doing a job at the same time. Next up, Conor McGregor talks oh, trash about WWE. The MMA legend Conor McGregor is talking trash again against the WWE's various superstars, having tweeted the following, Why wasn't I at WrestleMania? They fear me all, that's why. Now, this isn't the first time oh. McGregor has called out WWE superstars, with some fans thinking the muddy-laden mixed martial artist, along with his big mouth, would be a good fit for the WWE. Mm. Although nothing has ever materialized from McGregor's trash-talking, this latest tweet will spur more speculation about Conor working a special bout, as will the follower response from two-time WWE champion mm. Drew McIntyre, as he made quite a funny response. Drew McIntyre responded to McGregor's latest snarky social media message with a powerful <laughs> put down telling McGregor, shut up McTapper. For those unfamiliar with Conor McGregor's MMA career, McTapper is a not so sweet name that he's been dubbed with so much that he even had an interesting <laughs> urban McTapper, a nickname for the Irish MMA fire Conor McGregor, who is famous for tapping out in fights. Yo, did you see the fight last night? Ah, McTapper tapped again. <laughs> What a fucking chicken. <laughs> Dog, that's so funny, bro. McTapper tapped again. <laughs> Dictionary, which defines McTapper as anything for the Trish MMA fighter Conor McGregor, who's that's famous for great. tapping out in fights. Now, not every WWE superstar was upset with McGregor's comments, as Becky Lynch told her fellow Irish native, Hey man, I could have used you. Bianca brought an army. Next year? A big time Bex was referring to the amazing shout out to TSU, man. Uh, it's a uh, HBCU in Houston, Texas, man. Shout out to their band, their marching band, uh, being uh, at WrestleMania for Bianca Belair's entrance. I thought that was so dope. I love to see that. That was so cool. Marching band that performed for the EST during her WrestleMania entrance, Bianca dethroning her for the Raw Women's Championship. Do you think Conor McGregor will ever compete in the WWE? While he doesn't seem to need the money, uh, only as he is Forbes' highest paid athlete in 2021, Jeez. but he has a lucrative business endeavors outside MMA, including a fashion line, a pub, and a whiskey brand, which he and his business partners just sold for an incredible sum of $600 million. God damn! Woo! Would I have a problem with seeing that? It depends on who the opponent, who his opponent is, and how they booked it. As a one-off WrestleMania match, sure. Like I said, it just depends. Because McCron um, uh, I said McCronic. McGregor is actually entertaining. He's very entertaining on the microphone. Very, very entertaining. So I would like to see that, but we will see maybe at some point later on around. And it has to make sense, you know. If you're going to do something like this, you're going to probably throw a buttload of money at him. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people that may want to see it. It just depends on how they book it up and how they set it. But it could be something that could possibly happen at a future WrestleMania. Who knows? John Moxley injured? The day Meltzer reports that Mox has been working while hurt, including his recent match against Jay Lethal on Dynamite and a title defense at Game Changer Wrestling's Spring Break 6 show. Meltzer discussed Moxley's condition in last week's Wrestling Observer, saying, Moxley, by the way, has a hamstring injury that he's working on. He worked a couple of times this week on it, but he got it. He didn't get it in the ring, although may have. I don't know if he heard it worse in the ring, but I just know he came in and he got it in training. He'll still be wrestling probably every week and all, but he's nursing that new injury. Although wrestlers often work through various injuries, the true. potential for a nagging injury to become a serious injury is always present. And Moxley has been on fire since his AEW return, forming an intriguing alliance with Brian Danielson that mm -hmm. some AEW fans think is going to lead to an all-star tag team and possibly a faction of younger AEW stars being guided by the two veterans and their respective mentor, William Regal. But there you have it, folks. The wildest news stories and rumors you need. I will say this, man. Um wrestlers they go through injuries just like any other sport competitor out there and a lot of times they suck it up they go out there nagging injuries whatever it is pop some painkillers and they go out there and they do what they have to do man to entertain us this is why i, I always give the utmost respect to wrestlers yeah maybe the storylines are predetermined and how the matches in are predetermined but they still got to get to that destination they still got to entertain you they still got to be able to like you know captivate you to make you even want to watch something like that and when people start you know trying to disrespect the business and oh it's all fake no it's not 
You tell that to Roman Reigns. You tell that to John Moxley. You tell that to anybody that's legitimately hurt themselves. Hell, there, there's a picture floating around of uh, Bianca Belair when she got kicked in the face, like kicked in her eye during her match with Becky Lynch uh, on night one. Her eye was swollen. You can just see her eye just close. Tell that to them. It happens. You feel me? So... Hey, I, I just always love to show respect to the wrestlers in the wrestling business because honestly, they put their body in their their body and their fit, you know, their physical shape, their being, everything. They put that on the line for us. They spend all that time on the road to entertain us. So we gotta show respect and appreciate what they do. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, man. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 80k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.